thinking more about I am still celebrating the Cubs. Wow. Ending the curse. 71 years. Before I was born. Before most of us were born. <laughs> Unless, of course, you happen to be 72, 73, 74, and up. Yeah, my mom is 82. But when I was thinking about what my dad would say, my father passed away in 2005. And, you know, we, we re rekindled 2003. And, and um, my dad's smiling. My dad is smiling. Because my dad, yeah, he's really into Chicago sports. And uh, I know he's really a happy man. That, uh, um, really is. You know, this is the kind of thing that reminds you of what life is really about and, and that life is worth enjoying because we are so bombarded with negative stuff all the time and everything's a struggle or there's this problem or, you know. But it also reminds you of the role of sports. You know, sports is a kid's game, but, we, but it's played before a mass audience that is looking to enjoy life i know it doesn't make any sense but th that's the whole point it, it does from a perspective of emotion of your decision to hitch your wagon to a team because it reminds you of something because it represents you, the city you were born in the people that you knew your friends your relationships with your, with your parents you know that stuff means something and when something like this happens it's a powerful reminder that these things matter too you know that that this stuff is important too that not that life isn't and doesn't have to be negative and so serious all the time except in the context of winning and beating your rivals <laughs> right but that's what's so beautiful about this I said in my previous video I'll say it again and again and again I never thought the Cubs would go to the World Series in my lifetime. I was as certain of that as death and taxes. Phew, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, my dad's really happy.